Welcome back students. This video covers the professional practice law and ethics I mean PPLE under JNUH R18 regulation which is a common subject for electronics and communication engineering and civil engineering students. Upon the request of students I have come up with the various questions and it is all about the theory dear students. You are going to get certain general questions also here in this course. You are supposed to work out very neatly to score good marks. I hope you have taken very well the yesterday's exam which is of part A part B and even here also you are going to get part A, part B. The subject and the course is too lengthy in its structure. I have come up with only few points, but you are supposed to work out in depth in order to score better mark. The first and foremost question from the unit one is the professional ethics and its definition is said to be one of the important questions. Professionalism define and the responsibility of professionalism and environmental breaches, whistle blowing and conflict of interest. This may be 2A, 2B dear students and you may be getting from 1A to J also from this part which I am going to let you know from each and every unit. Please do work out the length, long questions so that you could be able to answer even the short questions too. The course of ethics and the gifts versus bribery and uh, with visual mechanism as well as GST various roles of stakeholders a practical example may be asked for you all these times in the question paper this may be 3A 3B dear students and do not forget to work out the GST various roles of a stakeholder let's look into the 4A and 4B here the 4A and 4B is all about the offer and acceptance define the terms and the essential elements of valid contract and the law of contract and the nature of contract may be a 2 mark 3 mark question as well as the performance and discharge of the contract may be a 4 a question and the contract of agency later unlawful and illegal agreements their differences and remedies for breach contract is said to be one of the topmost question which is said to be 4a and 5b combination and the act of 1930 its principles and warranties is said to be a 5 mark question please do work out all this to score better mark I have come up with a unit 5. This is all about 4. This is all about the 7th question. I mean 7, sorry, 8A and 8B. The role of labor in civil engineering compensation act 1923 is said to be a topmost and one shot question. And the building and other constructions. Dear students, you can write this subject course in the examination on your own points with the suitable examples to quote a better mark. Act 1996 and the rules 1998 and the methods of engaging labor is said to be a short question. This is of 8A, 8B combination. Now I'm going to let you know 9A, 9B. It is all about peace rate work and the labor subcontract, the Industrial Development Act 1946 and the general questions will be asked from this type of questions related to different industries. You should have enough knowledge on uh, the thorough knowledge on different industries related to 1946 Act, RERA Act and NBC 2007 is said to be a gunshot question and collective bargainings is also said to be one of the top most question. Let's look into the 10A as well as 10B which I have taken into the consideration next. The fifth unit the meaning of intellectual property right I mean IP and the forms and the copyright act 1957 is said to be a top most and one shot question as the paper is all about the theory you are supposed to work out step by step point I mean in a bulletin point do not write in paragraph the meaning of uh, copyright and the laws and the ownership assignment of a copyright act 1957 along with the computer program and the historical evolution is said to be one of the topmost and one shot question dear students you need to work out each and every point very clearly highlighting the important points piracy in internet is said to be a three work or two mark question and remedy is also important question and the laws related to the patent under 1970 as well as infringement criteria is said to be a three mark or two mark question the patent designs and secrets is said to be one of the topmost question which is being asked in 11a and 11b do not expect direct 10 mark question it is a combination of 5 5 and sometimes if it is a lengthy you will be getting for 10 mark hope you are going to like my videos as if you are not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel as well as share this content with the students who are taking this course good luck and god bless you all thank you